Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to look at a project we've been working on here for a while, which is uh, basically creating a V-wheel or V-slat wheel out of a standard skate bearing. So uh, I have the plans up on Thingiverse for this, but uh, basically what we did is printed a wheel, again, designed to fit inside this track, much like these wheels, uh, and then also uh, pressure fit bearing caps on here on both sides. It doesn't go all the way through, so it allows pressure fit uh, against this rim on the bearing, so it allows it to turn, as you can see, smoothly. And then a quarter inch, and I just got a smaller bolt here to kind of hold everything together. But you kind of see how it works, and then the idea is, is that fits in there like that. Um, all in all, it seems like it's a plausible idea and probably will work. Um, I printed these out of PLA, and then I've gone with two two different ideas. One is print, printing the complete wheel without supports, and it seems to kind of work. It's not the best. Um, I'm thinking about doing it on my ABS printer, and then printing half the wheel out. You can see the print is not that great, but um, it's okay, I guess, for prototyping. So I was able to pressure fit this on with a, putting it in the vise and pushing it on. Uh, so it is good and tight on there. So that's going to have to be cut off there to take that off that bearing. And, and again, it looks like it'll all pretty much work. So the only difference is, is you can kind of see the size difference between the bearing and, and the standard V-slot wheels. So it won't work with the standard platform. However, I'm thinking about working up a separate set of platforms uh, for these that will... Uh, fit this size and be able to work on the platform. But the great thing is, is this is about 50 cents versus four dollars and fifty cents for these. So um, you know, if you look here, I mean, I get about 20 bucks worth of wheels on this, where it would be basically two bucks worth of wheels using these skate bearings. I also thought about using the bearings directly, you know, metal on metal on on the thing, in which I've actually sorry for the bouncing around. I've got another skate bearing over here and you can kind of see how that fits in. I've almost been thinking about that too. I think if it's not for a heavy-duty application the steel against the aluminum won't be too bad um, but if I was running doing a CNC machine or something like that I don't think that would be a, a good idea. So anyways um, hopefully this video is helpful. Again I have the Thingiverse files up there. This is a work in progress so please treat it as such but let me know what you think. Let me know if you find it useful. Cheers!